and sure okay. you need to be going to uh, 103. Hold it, sir. I think so. I'll either kick it or get a key. Yeah, and I don't have one. You have to fix the door. Bail bonds! We will kick this door open in 30 seconds! All right, guys, today we're going to be looking for Mrs. Renisha Wright. She's a $2,000 bond out of Charleston for driving under suspension. Not really a big deal charge or a lot of money, but it is $2,000 nonetheless. She failed to come to her court date a couple of weeks ago, so she does have a warrant. It's um, a sealed sentence, which means she's been sentenced to a fine or do the time. Um, so we are on the way to her apartment now where... She's probably going to be, and we're going to take her into custody. Um, I know a lot of people don't agree with, you know, having to arrest some people with these small bonds, but if we let every every two and three thousand dollar bond walk, I mean, we'd be spending so much money we wouldn't be able to run the business. So let's go see what happens. Camera hot. Ah. Oh. Man, that was hard to get out of it. Oh, yeah. Like Fuck. Why was it hard? Your feet got it. A lot of weight in the centrifugal force. I needed it to help me get mine. Right? <laughs> Listen. It's one. That one. Yeah, you smell it. You heard it? Nice. I hear them in there, too. Okay, this window's open. Two windows are open. Ready? Yep. You the maintenance man? You the maintenance man? Yep. Hey, that unit, we're knocking on the door. Do you know the female that's in there? Are you familiar with her? If you see a picture. Uh, we're, we're, we're dealing with this one right this here. This right here, let me see if that's one, two, 1003? It's 1003. 1003, right? Yeah, we got a picture of her in her let me name. See, let me see her. Black girl? Yeah. yeah. Let me see, he, he probably knows sure. her. That's her. You guys got to get in. Yeah. Well. In? Well. Yeah. We probably need. It. Well. If, I mean, am I allowed to give you key? I mean, by the law, last time I did, well, I got my ass so in trouble. Well. So, so we can. We, we have the right to enter her house. But let me see if it goes unlocked first, so you don't have to. Be it closer. ain't gonna be unlocked. I can guarantee you. Well, the windows are up. We thought we heard somebody in there. Oh, no, there might be somebody there then. Like. Uh, so. Because yeah, I know last time I gave up the key, I got my ass in trouble. Yeah. Well, no, we don't want you to get in trouble. But with the windows open, I mean, we're allowed to break and enter, no matter how we do oh, it. Oh, you're allowed but, to do it. Yeah. As our bondsman, it's really up to you. we really just need to know 100 percent that we're at the right apartment. It's, it's really your choice, sir. Uh, well, there wasn't nobody in the office to talk about. No, I'm, I'm running both houses right oh. now. I'm, now I'm, to I'm, get, full, I'm fully in charge. What's it take for you to go to the computer? To go there because mm -hmm. she signed our paperwork and used it's 1003 on the paperwork. But it says 1-3. Yeah, which would be apartment one. That's the, you're in the wrong building. No, it's well. No. Here's why. No, here's no. Why. no, 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 no. I'm telling you. I'm telling that. 10-3. Boy, I can tell you what's the name on the thing. That's the sure, right? I'm gonna tell you what. I've had some, like, you, you guys were here like, last week or somewhere. There was two officers, not agents, but there were two officers. They, I think they were trying to serve a warrant. Uh -huh. And they showed me. I think that's her. And I think it's ten. I think it's one dash three, not ten o three. Where's one dash three at? Right behind, right behind my compactor. Well, let's walk over there. That's building one right there. What's the name one more time? Renisha. Last name. Right? Right. With a W, right? Uh-huh. Hey, let's write down your phone number real quick, so we might need to call you back. Yeah. You can go check it out? Yep. 5375. Yeah, because it says 10-3 on here, but then on the paperwork, it says 1-3. It's kind of contradicting itself. But we thought it was 10-3, yeah. then thinking it was 10. Tell you what, this whole building is really, I, I don't think it's, I, I'm, I'm almost 99% sure okay. we need to be going to right. 103. We'll go over and wait on. Just for the sake of argument. All right. I got two old ladies living in this corner. Right, our number. Chase it down. I mean, 
What's your number? 843. Call us as soon as you figure it out. I'm going to go right now. There's nobody's week. answering doors. We're going to start worrying. You know what I mean? <laughs> on the other side of that door. I'm glad you told it. us about we the door. We don't want to be in the wrong door. I know. I th- I'd like to say I'm about 99% sure you're at the wrong door right now. Hey, I, f- I got to get my phone out of the car in case he calls. <laughs> sure, hope that wasn't the right one. Oh, you know what you're going to be doing? You're going to be huffing and puffing. Better get your breathing under control. Take a couple deep breaths. Exhale slow. All right, I think it's 104. Is that you? Yeah. Oh, then it ain't 104. Okay. Who lives across from you? A girl? You friends with him? No. Is this her? Oh, shit. <laughs> I think so. Okay. Is she drive or not really? Yeah, they do have kids in there, but the kids are school. She don't drive? Um. If you can't think of a car, they probably ain't got one. No, they do have a car, but I don't know if it's a car. It's a Y'all got balconies on the other side? So there's no there's no windows in the back? Yeah. Oh there is? You going in the back? Yeah, we're Alright. Nice to Nice to never have met you. I'll wait till you leave. I'm gonna wait till you leave. It's pretty big unit. Hey. It's a pretty big unit. Yeah. Yeah, there's no windows on the side. There's a it goes a hey, it goes the whole length of the um building. Got some massive windows for some reason. I'd like to see it. I don't hear nothing in there about the knock. You ready? Yeah, all the blinds are shut tight. So, um, go ahead. Did the guy ever call you back? No. He's right here behind me. You want me to go ask him what he found out? Yeah. I don't know. He went up in a unit or something. He disappeared. I found him. Hey, man. Huh? What'd you find out? Yes. Okay. I was, I was right. You're right. Yeah, he confirmed it was. He was right. You're right on it, right there. Check your lock. Yeah, there's one lock. Yeah, they probably work, but um, still like to get in there and look around. What are you thinking? Yeah, yeah. We think she. Uh, I think she works at. All right, I gotta wait on him to come back to ask him about a key, but remember he got in trouble last time. He might not want to give us the key. Oh, it's the key or door key. Come to the door, we're gonna kick the door in.
We're going to get a key now. Hey, all we need is a deadbolt unlock. We can take care of the rest. I'm going to call her right now. I'm just going to tell her we're here. Hey, Miss Wright. Hey. Am I bothering you at work? No, I, I'd rather walk in the building now. Huh? I'm about to walk in the building oh, now. Oh, finally getting off at 2 o'clock. That's good. Yeah. Um. Th so this is Lee over here at uh, SC Medical Health. We're just wondering if you'd be interested in a new policy. Um. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Well, I'm going to send some um, paperwork to your address. Okay. Let's see here. Are you part of the employee plan now? I'm not, actually. Okay. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, if you're about to get in the car, I don't want to talk to you on the phone because I know you, well, I think you've been wanting to go over options. Uh-huh. So how long till you get home and can sit down? Um, actually, I work two to two. Um, so the best time would be early in the morning. Oh, 2 a.m. to 2 p.m.? No, 2 p.m. to 2 a.m. Oh, I thought you said you were leaving work. No, I'm about to walk in the building. Oh, okay. At the main campus. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty then. Well, I, I'll try tomorrow morning. How about that? Okay, that's fine. All right, thank you. Okay, thank you. All right. I heard her say walking back in. Though. I thought she was getting off break or lunch. Walking out of the building. No, she's oh, walking she walk out the I think, I think she's walking into the building. You called her on her way in. We go. To Ready? I mean, she's not that big a fish. She'll catch her tomorrow. You heard her. All right, y'all. So I just called her on the phone. I kind of pretended to be like a healthcare person for her job. I guess she took the bait. She told me she works from um, two to two. And uh, what we're gonna do is wait till tomorrow morning and hit this thing first thing in the morning. So. See y'all then. Yeah, we know she'll be here then. You know what I mean? Yep. Just a guarantee, you know, we used to fuck something up and fuck her job up over something like this. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I was hoping she was on the way home. That was pretty smooth though. You had her in you had She's her in still the driving without a fucking <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Unless she just got dropped off. I mean that's like we just missed her then. When you think about it. We probably did when we were fucking around down here. I'm just saying, those minutes, you know what I mean? All right, guys, it's the next morning, about 9.30 in the morning. Um, working on Renisha Wright again. As uh, we told y'all yesterday, she um, was at work, and she told me she worked till 2 a.m. And I had, uh, did the prank call, and she thought I was some sort of uh, medical insurance person at the place that she works. So um, I got that information out of her. So she should be home now, probably sleeping after work, putting her kids on the school bus. So uh, we're going to get over here and take her into custody. And um, with her charge being so petty, we're going we're gonna to hope that we can help her out a little bit. Because all she really has to do is pay a fine or do the time. That's what her sentence was. So um, hopefully we can help her out with that. So let's go see what happens. Ready? There actually is play in the door. Let me listen. Hey Brett, your mic on? Yeah, what you got? You ready? Yeah, it looks the same as yesterday. Go ahead.
Yeah, her bedroom could be the one furthest away from the door. Couldn't hit the window. Now not. Renisha. I'm coming out the windows. The biggest ones you can't come out. The tiny ones are the bathroom, and they're only like that big. But we'll go ahead, huh? We gotta kick it. So if you want to knock on the door, yeah, we nope. banging on the door. Nobody's answering. No, and we know she works from two to two. Yeah, you think I the did. brown car is hers? I, that might be hers. I, well, I can't guarantee it. We, we gotta either kick it or get a key. Yeah, and I don't have one. You have to fix the door. Try to be careful. <laughs> you know how to do it. Just kick right at yeah. the deadbolt. That way, all we gotta fix is just the jam. All right. And what's bad yeah, is what's gonna be bad about the Lord? She's not in there. Oh, she's not in there. I have to come back and do it again. <laughs> but uh, I'm but pretty, I'm pretty high. confident she's in there because her phone's off, like she's sleeping. Yeah. Because I've been and, trying to call her. Yeah, because I have a funny feeling that is her car. You guys, oh, you have, you have no way of running plates. Oh yeah, we do. But who's the other guy that's in there? Do you know? In where? In that unit with her. Because the neighbor the said that a guy lives there. Oh. Let me run the plate right now. All right. He's he doesn't have a key, unfortunately. And he says that just don't tear the door up too much, but he's pretty sure that this tan Chevy is hers. I'm gonna run the plate. Copy that. It definitely looks like someone that works hard. This kind of car is nice. There's no, there's no records, which means it's a new car. I said there's no records. Oh, wrong door. You know whose car this is? Uh, they. Yeah. Yeah, that's her car. All right, might want to get out of here. About to kick her door open. Uh, they just the heads up. They have been. Uh, they left yesterday, but they was like moving in a weird way, uh -huh. and then they came back this morning doing the same thing. What do you and, mean? Uh, like moving frantically, like they trying to hurry up. But if they're if that's there, they're in there. Yeah, I don't okay. know if they left again because they just came back this morning. But that's the only car, though, right? Yeah, I think so. Oh, okay. I think so. Yeah. You ready? 
She said that they were moving real weird. What? She said they were moving real weird this morning, like frantically. And yesterday. And yesterday. Oh, you ready? No. Nope. He confirmed this is her unit. Okay. If you're in this house, we are going to kick the door in in about one minute. Uh, yeah, we don't have that warrant in hand, but we do have a warrant for her. Okay. All right. What you got to do? I mean, we're bail bailouts, and we don't have to have the warrant in, in this particular case. We no, don't have the for, warrant. Like I told the other guy, I in hand. I don't have a key that I can get right away, but uh, with a copy of a warrant, I, I, got can, I can give you a key, but no no key or no warrant. I respect that. Okay. But um, like I told him, if you're going to kick it. I know. It's trying to be easy. Just, just kick it at the you kick it at the lock itself. Okay. I mean, you guys know your business. But yeah, but we know what's going to happen to that jam, too. The well, like I say, so, well... I mean, it's going to be the case and, and the Well, trim. what's, what's going to be a bummer is if she's not in that fucking apartment. Yeah, well, the, the neighbor... got to fix it. Well, the, well, the neighbor's saying that she... That's her car right there. That's and what that I thought it was. She so. said they were moving around kind of frantically the, yesterday and this morning. Okay. Like, like they're nervous. She saw them moving around a little differently since we were here. All right, well. And I've been tapping on the windows, yeah, trying to thought, hit, hit yeah. the windows with sticks and little little stones, try to get somebody to look out. But like you, like you where's said. the bedrooms at in there? On this side or the back side? I don't understand the floor plan in there. It's a big uh, old flat. It's a, it's a three bedroom. So I figured that. It's a long hallway and there's bedrooms on both sides. So where's the cool. master at? Uh, where you would stay? That left hand right there. With the, it's got the, it's got the blinds all kicked up in the corner. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so, all right. I mean, I, I yeah, well, she she's told us too that she worked from two to two, so yeah. Two, eight, two yeah. PM and then she AM. then she blocked our number from yesterday. All right, uh, so park, uh, park of yeah, upstairs on the left. Right, Come on, man. You don't have a warrant, do you? Yes. In hand? No, you can't get a copy. I'm just saying that's what it take to get a key. You ready? He just says kick it at the um, lock. Try well, to. Well, you can't. You want me to kick? You can do this one. Well, it don't matter. Go ahead. Time. <laughs> All right, let's do call-ups. Ready? Bail bonds. We will kick this door open in 30 seconds. We have a warrant for Renisha Wright. Bail bonds. We will kick this door open. You ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Five. Be a guy in there, so remember. Bail bonds. He said the back left to the master. Bail bonds. Open the door. Open it. Why did you kick the door? Because I told you we were going to kick it, ma'am. You got a warrant for your arrest. What are you doing? Oh, you stay sitting God. there. You stay sitting there, okay? You stay sitting there. Can I at least put cool? some clothes on? Yeah, yes, yeah, of course. We don't need to look out. at you. Go ahead. Do your thing. Look, why didn't you go to court on that case that we got you out on bond on? I forgot about it. All right, well, look. It turned into a warrant now. So we got to make sure that warrant gets served. So See? you got a sealed yeah. sentence. Okay, but they told me I could pay $2,100 and it was wrong. Right, but you still have a warrant. So you're going to have to go to jail till you pay that. So it's pay to fine or due to time. Damn, boy. Yeah. I mean, God damn, y'all ain't loud enough. Well, I was we banged, dude. Yeah, I, I hear the window, bro. We got up, but you hey, said that's why when you even knocked at the door, we was sitting there like, damn. But I just like they beating on the door, but damn, I should have kicked the shit in. It's been too late for us to do anything. Oh, we were banging for like the past 20 yeah, minutes. We knew, because we heard you knocking on the window. Yeah, I was talking about Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. We, we thought we were tripping. Because yeah, she, yeah, yeah. she said, she said, she said, I told y'all I was getting the window. She said, that's was but she said, she thought y'all been downstairs. Oh, you good. The maintenance man knows what was going to have to happen. And um, he's he, gonna have to fix the jam. He's about to come and fix your door right now. Oh, okay. As soon as we leave, that's what I've been thinking about. Yeah, Cause you might be a kicker. He, he like wouldn't that. give us the key because uh -huh. we don't have the warrant in hand. We got it digitally, but he doesn't accept. It. He wants to. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, we're not wrong, so we can do what we you did. Got a flashlight on her. Yeah, put mine away. So, all right, let's turn around for me. Hey, she can get out as soon as you go pay that fine. They said it's twenty one hundred. Did they tell you how long you can have to serve if you don't pay that? No, they just told me that I need to be twenty one hundred. Oh wow. Okay. All right. Well, let's go.
Dang, that's a big fine, ain't it? $2,100. Hey, look, you got the money for your fine? Mm -hmm. Alright, so uh, we got a thing for you. Alright, so we got a thing for you. Of course, we're going to open the door. Well, you know, you just admitted you heard us knocking on your door and you knew no, it was. No, 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 no. Hey, it don't matter. The it hey, the man, this man things. ain't mad. He knew it, what was going to happen. He's coming to fix your door yeah, right now. Yeah, he, he knew what He's was going to happen. He's coming around the corner to come fix it. Get Any questions before we leave? Yeah. Okay. Hmm? Yeah. She got her phone. What do you want to take with you? Well, you can use it. I mean, you can take your phone so when you get. Yeah, up. you're gonna need it. But if y'all don't share a phone, hey, look, you need to go down there and pay the fine. If you pay the fine, they'll let her out. What time are you? They're coming to fix it. Don't worry about that. Yeah, he's right out here waiting on us. Are you going to get it? Hey, do you got the ability to go pay the fine for? Her? Do we know what we're supposed to pay the fine? Once she, once, City Hall Lane. Once City she gets Hall booked Lane. in, then you can go pay the fine. Is that your first offense driving under suspension? Because mm, why is it twenty one hundred dollars? Is that your third that? offense? Because that's why I had yeah. to. It's stupid. That's why we we sat out here forever. Like we all kicked this damn door. We, we came yesterday too. Well, we didn't kick it for the charge. We kicked it for the money they want from us. I mean, Bro, that's just what privilege boy, we get as bondsmen. I think I owe y'all a couple of chin. I can go down there and mix right here to the left. Yeah, yeah that's because he ain't no good. Y'all need to be doing, y'all look like y'all look good, so, you know. We ain't we even been doing want, nothing. I know, but we want that for you. We want her to fix it. And right you on. knew you had the warrant if you just would have called us and said, I'm working on getting the money up. I did. I didn't see it. That's how I figured out how, how, how I needed to do it. And then they told me to come to the court date with my driver's license screen. And the DMV already sent me a letter saying Well, how many driving under suspensions do you have? Um, just, the one. just the one? Third. Oh, third? Okay. All right. So basically what you're going to do is it's 30 days or the fine. Okay. So you're going to have to serve 30 days, which is like, what, 17 really? So if the money is worth 17. more keep it, then do your time. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So two, two weeks for $2,100. We don't know what your sentence is until we turn you over. I know, and I don't think that it's going to be that easy. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to turn you in, and then uh, I got your number on here. Is his number on your bond paperwork? No, probably just my mom. All right, what's your number? I'm going to call you when I figure out what her sentence is. E plus two, and we'll switch your cuffs around to the front where she's more comfortable. We'll talk about it at the office and maybe make some phone calls. And if we can't do nothing, which we know we can't do nothing without her being in jail because she's got to get the warrant served on her, which is... The sentence, you know what I mean? Great. And then she can figure out how to get out of it. It shouldn't be as big a deal. But yeah, the maintenance man's gonna be packing away this morning over here. So Might as well get on. dressed and wait. Just tell him that we were sleeping. We didn't hear him. Yeah. That's all you gotta tell him. I even went around the building and started throwing stones at the back. Oh, we yeah. heard it. I thought <laughs> that's what we tell you about the room. We could have hit. That's what we got. Where's the window behind the bathroom? The bathroom. Yeah. That's the yeah. bathroom. Oh, yeah. Because you were at the bathroom window. The big, the big one. Yeah, the big mirror. You were at the bathroom window. We could have hear it, and we thought somebody was inside the bathroom. Like somebody's not in the house. She goes in there. She like. That's the point. But you already had walked around. You I saw your hand, and yeah. it looked like you were yeah. knocking at the window downstairs. So well, if you just would have come to the door, we wouldn't even handcuff you. We would have took you down oh, there. Well, I got a long thing. We heard y'all about three times. And, and I sat up. I said, hold up. No, that's the police. They had told the door. And then by the time they, boom, I said, oh, shit. Oh, these niggas. Oh, yeah. All right, we're going to get him to fix it. Hey, man, respect, man. This is just going to get a problem fixed. I know. It's going It's not even that big of a deal. It's going to be a hardship for a minute. We'll get her out of the situation. We're still going to try to help her, though. Uh, so um, we'll be in touch with you in an hour or so, 30 minutes. I'm going to call you as soon as I know what the fine is. And you got you got the money to pay it, right? You can get it up? Yeah, you might figure out make sure to shut Oh, you can call my mom. Okay. She'll get it paid? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's go I do that it. then. So you might have to sit in jail for a few hours. Yeah, we'll that's why I asked what time it is. Because she'll be able to get up before. Like, right now it's 10. She right? She no, I'm probably not at work. But what I'm saying is, as soon as you get into jail and they unseal your sentence, then I'm going to call them. It's almost instant. It's like within an hour. I'm going to call them. Hey, what's the sentence? And as soon as they tell me, I'll call. Hey, man, they want $800 or two weeks. I know you can get it up. Yeah. And as soon as you go down to, and then I'll give you the number to call. Hey, where do I need to go to pay this? I'm sure you'll make it there somehow. Right. And as soon as you pay it, they'll process her out of jail. Uh, Are you ready? Mm -hmm. At least you ain't, hey, at least you ain't about to be stuck in here on no bench warrant for no months. Really lucky on that aspect. Well, it, it's not. Well, we don't care what the charge is. We care about the money they want from us. A few thousand dollars. It is embarrassing for us too to have to come here and do this. It's a bad look on our business. I know. They probably won't. It'll be all right.
Let's just like get in there so you don't have to be watched and looked at. I don't want your phone to fall out. All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. I'll put the seatbelt on. Pardon me, ma'am. Those hurt, don't they? Come here. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out. All right, just lean step forward. Out. Just step out. Yeah, step out. You're not going to be crazy, are you? No, no, no. no. I'm so tired. I we're going to put your cuffs in the front so you don't hurt your nails and, or hurt your hands. I know. I work 12 hours a day. I'm so tired. All right. Yeah. Well, you got to deal with this. All right, just put it in the front. You'll be all right. All right. No one's trying to uh, we'll figure this thing be out. mean to you. All right, pardon me, ma'am. I'm going to reach around you, okay? Okay, go ahead. All right. I know you do. I trust you. Crank that air up when you get them out. Maintenance man was supposed to have been right there. He must have heard the kick and went ahead and started to get the tools. Mm -hmm. no. He told me how to kick the door. He just said right at the lock. But I said, man, it's going to tear the jam up and split the jam anyway. He knows what he's up he, against. See, he, they all he actually the called the office and told them that they were his bondsmen. And they said, don't give him nothing. Yeah, without a copy of a warrant. I said, well, it's digital right now. But no, I can't produce a warrant right now in hand. Well, I was going to wait until I saw him. But... So the bondsman told you you had to pay $2,100? Yeah, that's she not. Reached out to my mom. That's not what it is. Dang, that's how, that's how much our bond is. So that's how much the court wanted from us. I see both on. That's how much the court wanted from us if we didn't turn you over. This is the letter they sent us that you so. missed your court date. They did send it to the wrong address. Mm -hmm. They did. That's why. But let's let's see if I can call the clerk right now and see what your uh, the thing is. Because I promise you, we'll help you as much as we can. Well, we can't help you without you being present. That's that's whole point of this situation to make the present. Y'all passed the office. Yeah, he wasn't there. He's on the golf, oh, golf you're cart. Oh, you're looking for I'm you're a, looking for Tom. Yeah, the golf the, cart. Yeah, the um, yeah. I'm going to go one more round for you try to send him over there, but he should have been in plain sight. Oops. Yeah. yeah. You got to go back. Huh? How bad? I mean, the whole, the whole jam and then the trim. I told you that would do that. Oh, yeah. There's no way not to split the jam. He kicked it right, you know, beside the handles. And they were back there fucking sleeping and they heard me throwing shit on the window and they looked out and said, oh, the cops are out there. And then we always do the loudest shout out in the human it, that he can mm -hmm. scream and then give it about, you know, we don't love it. It's about a minute. She and he know? said, he's, he's in the back of the car. Okay. Um, they said that they heard us banging on the door and before they could react, they realized it was at her door. You know, we came on in and you know, it was a male in there in the bed with her. And um, they were in that back right hand side bedroom. So is there anybody in the house now? Yeah, the male. Yeah, but he knows you're probably coming to work on that door. All right. And he's got, I mean, I mean, I couldn't put the warrant in your hand, man, but I no. can tell you what's going to happen. But if we could have got the deadbolt open, I know how to get a bottom lock open. Yeah. But I know you didn't want to play dirty. I mean, I, I respect uh, that, but I mean, yeah. I made the that's job extra work. That's, Ex that's why I was on the phone with my president. Yeah, when well, if they said the rules you got to play by, let's play by them. Because if we play by the rules, if we were wrong, we can get in trouble. But we try not to be wrong, you know what I mean? All right, All right we appreciate it. Good meeting you, man. Okay. Okay, sounds good. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, so um, they want you in jail one way or the other. I know. I know. I know. I know. I, I'm just, I was really trying to figure out a way where you I might know. not have to go to jail. Because if, if we could just get you the money, what was you waiting for to fix it? Just trying to get the money up or just kind of... No, it wasn't You didn't really that. think it was that serious right now and you had other stuff going on? No, it wasn't that. Like, I was going to pay them, but I was trying to get rain out the way first. Yeah. And then I get paid again on Wednesday, well, tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So I was hoping, you know, I done saved up a whole check from after I done paid my rent. So I was like, well, twenty one hundred dollars isn't that much, you know. And Nessa, she works inside of um Sinclair. Yeah. So she wrote my mom, and she was like, "Hey, um, I'm just letting you know that she got a bench warrant because she missed the, the last court date." So my mom said, "What does she have to do to get the bench warrant?" Left at first, she told me I needed an attorney, and then she told me, 
if I get an attorney, the retainer fee will be twenty five hundred dollars, and then I will still have to pay the attorney other fees or yeah. whatnot, whatever. So she was. So my mom was like, "Well, Where if we she don't get an attorney, what can she do?" Yeah, he's, he's depressed about it. Yeah. And he's, she said $2,100. Uh, no, I'm no. talking about So, So here's the thing. You've already been sentenced is the thing. You don't, you, you no don't. attorney can help you right now. It's okay. over with. Your case is over your, with. Your case is done. It's over so with. it's now pay to fine or due to time. I was under the impression it was your first offense, which is why it was weird no, to me. No, it was the third. I told you. Did third. you also I, get habitual traffic offender? I got that letter yesterday that, that they, said they're charging I'm a habitual. With no, they just said that I'm a habitual offender and my driver's license is gone. Um, for till 2029 or something. Dang. Oh man. So, I mean. And you still drive probably because we all have to drive. No, actually. He uh, drives, we don't care, but I'm saying. No, no, I know. All right, but so, I don't get behind the wheel. Yeah, he we actually don't. drives me everywhere so I go. So, how about That's go good. ahead, grab your phone, call your mom, tell her what's going on, tell her she needs to get up some. It's not 2100. That's what our bond is. But it might be 2100, but I'm just saying I don't see that being the case. But just ask her if she's got the money because as soon as you get booked, that's when they're going to unseal your sentence and you're going to know what the truth. the truth is. Whether it's 300 or 3,000 okay. or somewhere in between. She basically said either we can take her to the jail or we can bring her to the clerk and they'll take her into custody right there. No. And then she'll be told her sentence. Mama, you was gonna be so mad at me. Huh? I said you're gonna be so mad at me. I'm going to jail again. For the same? Because the <laughs> boss, the bondsman came and kicked the door, Mama. Oh no. So I mean, I don't. At this point, I don't know what to do. I think I'm gonna have to sit. But um. Yeah, See, I told you. No, she she said twenty one hundred dollars, but that's not true, Mama. I know I'm gonna I'm gonna have to suffer thirty days. I know I have to. Let's start it right now. I need to play around. So I'm I'm in the back of the she police car. We on the way to the jail or whatever. Um, we know how to I, do I just it. trying to that's make sure I don't get caught. Okay. And then we know what our kid. time is. Allie's ready. Abby's ready. Allie's ready for us. You know what I mean? No, the maintenance man said he's gonna fix the door now okay. and they'll be able to lock it back. But um, I don't know. I just want you to just stand by till, until I get to the jail, at least. All right, this call. Okay. And you make all the calls you need to make right have, now. I have kids. If you need to tell your work that you got a family emergency, it's gonna tie you up for a couple of days till you figure it out. Or you, if you I'm know them, if you know them good enough to tell them the truth, that's between you and them. You know, you're, you're in a tough situation. Does he work? No, he doesn't. He doesn't work. That's why I was scared to go and, and try to at least fix it because I feel like if I had went there, they were gonna get you there. It's gonna get me. Yeah. It's an hour later kind of thing. And I mean, I'm not gonna run. They, they would have. I mean, you just heard her on the phone that they would call security as soon as you got there. Really? Yeah. I mean, yeah. That's what they do. If you would have got See, there, that's why they would have took you into move. custody and they would have been like, okay, either you pay right now or you go to jail. And obviously, you know what the answer would have been. Well, I don't have the money. Okay. Well, yes, being scared to go, I can understand, but, but at the end of the I day, the money, but uh, if you had the money, they'd let you pay it. If you, if you can get the money, when we get you in here and we figure out what your fine is, then you'll know what you're dealing with. It could be $300 for That's all right. we know. It could be $2,100. I don't know. I'm just saying that none of us know what your sentence is right now. It's in an envelope. It's, it's in an it's, envelope. But it's either or is what I'm saying. When they sentence you for driving under suspension, it's not just time it's time or fine it's paid to fine or due to time that's, that's what your sentence is and I, I call us because I came to the first court date that, and that's what I don't understand I came to the first I court think you date. moved so you just sure. moved right no I've been living right deal well like let's so. all right I'll tell you so they gave you your first court date when you got out of jail right yeah that's how you knew and I went court to the court date, date and he vet the judge verified he asked me do you still love seven and then he was like, okay, and I'm telling you the next court date. I forgot when the next court date was. And that's when Nessa called my mom. And I was like, oh, my God. I forget. You know, I work 12 hours. I work two to two yes, every single day. So, you know, my mind is clearly shot. I'm tired. I can't do anything because I'm, you know. I tried to call you this work. morning, but your phone's going to voicemail. Oh, 
Oh yeah, it's on Do Not Disturb. Oh, I got that you. was you calling. Yeah, that was it me. was on Do Not Disturb. I was trying to call you to talk to you. Try to get you to the door without doing it, what we had to do. I know, but lie, I heard y'all downstairs and I, I jump on my step. I say, oh no, police downstairs, but I think they're for the downstairs people. And I keep hearing like rocks hit the window, but I'm like, <laughs> no, I think I'm tripping. <laughs> See, you but know, I was I doing my the, job. Now. Yeah, once I saw the flashlight, I was like, hold on now. That voice sound too close. Mm. And I was like, God damn, what mm. just happened? I literally just dropped well, my kids off the school. Renisha, we don't want you to go to jail. I know. I, I hope you do have the money when they. When I do they have the money, fine. actually. I'm hoping it's. Not as much. Not as much. Well, Even see, if, if it's as much. You if know you would have went, the problem that, that, that makes it real a sticky situation. Mm -hmm. oh, what makes it a sticky situation mm -hmm. is that um, if you would have went to your second appearance, which is your trial, you could have went on a payment plan. And then I couldn't though because the DMV already said no license. They wanted me to get the license straight. That's why I got the continuance. But I was like, what was the point of me keep asking for a continuance? So they so sent your paperwork to. Oh, that ain't my. That's what case. I'm trying to tell you that they sent it to the wrong place. You have another driving under suspension you just got in January, didn't you? You got you got another ticket. I was in G in January. January 11th. Yeah, no, it was January 20th because it was Martin Luther King Day. They right. locked me up that day, and then I got locked up again for the for the second DUS in sometime in February, I believe, something like that. February or March. North Charleston. Yeah, it was North Charleston off of. Um, well, you might have a couple freaking warrants, girl. No, I don't have a couple warrants because the second one. Because you got two, you didn't go to two of your court dates right here. Oh, I. Don't, you missed two different cases with court dates. To be honest, I don't even go lie to you. I don't be going to court. I just paid a paid a ticket and just. That's fair, but you're not a criminal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. Man, I don't mind. You're not a criminal. I feel like they treat me like one. Like I. Well, oh, it's not the system. The oh, system. The system. You know. If you would have given us twenty one hundred, we'd let you go on your way because all we need is you or the money because the court wants our two thousand and we're not going to pay two thousand. Right. So you know we're going to produce you, which was. And I didn't know that. You know, I yeah. thought. You know, when you bond out, I thought. The bond was whatever I paid for the bond, the no, two hundred something dollars. That's all, and the rest is just school. I didn't know no. it fall back on y'all yeah. for the remaining. Family. So basically, um, your bond is twenty one hundred. You don't have it, so we we give you an offer. Hey, we'll give the court twenty one hundred. You give us ten percent, which is right. two hundred. Okay. When you go to court, we get back our two twenty one hundred, and we keep your two hundred. That's how we profit, oh, and we we okay. rinse and repeat that. I mean, we have hundreds and probably a couple thousand clients across the whole state, mm -hmm. but that's how bondsmen make money. It is a lot of people do mis misinterpret that, thinking that what they pay, they're done. But no, nah, they um, we're, we're kind of like you know how they say security guards are rental cops. Mm -hmm. Well, bondsmen are kind of like rental probation officer. That's okay. how, that's how you could look at it. You're kind of you're, you're hiring us in a way to keep tabs on you to make sure that you do what you're supposed to do. Now you could have given the court twenty one hundred dollars and been out of jail on your own money. And um, you would have got that money back when you went to court. But um, a lot of people just don't understand that. So next yeah. time, if you've got a real small bond and you can get someone to put that money up, just be like, you'll get it back as soon as I go to court. That See, way you, sometimes you, you got to bond yourself out. That's right. That's why. I mean, I don't want no, to have that, to pay nobody right. back. So, you know, I'd rather. Well, this stuff I'm driving while suspended is kind of messing you up. So, it does, I mean, it's got you in a bad spot. But it's, yeah, it's fixable, know. but, you know, you got to be chipping away at it. You know, can't yep. sit behind closed doors and ignore it. I know, but and, um, I, I was confused because the same police officer, I think he knew my car, the car that was out there when you put up. Yeah, they do know your car. Everyone there knows your car. He learned my car, so it's like every time you see my car, he get behind me. It's, yep. it's the same police officer. He, he, like he knows me or something. He can do that. And I stopped driving and everything because I wanted to get the situation straight, but I mean, I'm not ever going to get a license back. So well, I don't, know what to do at this don't point. let it feel impossible because you will get a license back. You just got to go through the process it takes to get it back. It's going to be uncomfortable, and for you, it's going to last for several years. You know what I mean? Until your suspension is lifted. But um, that's nobody's fault but yours, you know? Yeah. At the end of the day. But you can get it back. You will get it back, but you got to play by the rules. The next, you know, next time you're going to go serve a year for it or so, you get a fourth. Put you in jail for a year with no fine option. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
just as bad as a DUI. You just keep doing it again and again. The punishment has to get harsher and harsher. I just hear that they have a but I glad my kids were. Well, we hate it too. Yeah, I'm glad they weren't there either. That light takes Because that was scary. Y'all scared me. I was like, oh my God. Just we imagine try being in a well, deep sleep. Well, I mean, I tried to get y'all to I the door know, from I the know. window. I and heard, I, we, I and we tried. Right. You can't say we just kicked your door. Yeah, we don't, no, 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 we don't I, just pride I ourselves on doing that. I heard y'all at first. But, and I said something. And I was like, hold on, wait a minute. I went to the living room window. And then I saw Agent on the back. And he was like, oh, that's somebody probation officer. So I was like, oh, <laughs> I don't have a probation officer. So I went back and laid down and I closed my eyes. And next thing you know, I just hit a boom, and I was like, what? <laughs> Y'all for me this whole time? Yeah, there was a lot of booms, though. I am very sorry that it happened. No, it's okay. It's, it's okay. It's not I, I okay, I knew it was coming. Know? Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I like before. you taking responsibility yeah. for the situation. Yeah, um, and that's just, why I can't go out with no fight, because there you I go. knew it was coming. I know yeah. why. You see, yeah. I just wasn't that's true. prepared for this one. Do you smoke cigarettes? No, I do Okay. But it is fixable. Nobody's mad at you at the end of the day. My mom is. I know. If you still got questions when you're in there, call the bail bonds company. Call this okay. Call this office and ask the questions. Okay. They're still willing to help you. They're not going to hang the phone up because it's you and you're in jail. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And um, you know, 